Flags flew at full mast in New York's Shea Stadium today, but no higher than Met fans' hopes as the National League improbables took a 3-1 to -one lead over Baltimore in the World Series. It's easier to become accustomed to victory than to defeat, and Met fans radiated an uncharacteristic smugness today as they watched a team which had never lost a postseason game at home. Their complacence appeared justified when Don Clendenin hit a second-inning home run the kind which had all its rockets firing as it crossed the fence. The fans yelled their told you so. Tom Seaver pitched steadily, and when he was a little less than steady, there were the mighty Met outfielders, this time Cleon Jones, who galloped to the rescue. Even more vital a gallop was a desperation dash by the third outfielder, Ron Swoboda, which stopped a ninth-inning Baltimore rally at no more than the tying run. Tommy Agee was suddenly yesterday's hero. In the home tenth, J.C. Martin, another of the Met understudies who have been giving Barrymore performances all year, laid down a perfect bunch. When it got away from the Orioles, the Mets had a two-to-one victory and a feeling that the unbelievable was nothing of the kind. This is Haywood Hale Broom at the World Series. And that's the way it is. Wednesday, October 15th, 1969. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News. Good night.